testing an a, a AR500 Spall Guard with an SKS um, in 7.62 by 39. The shots will be from 75 feet. Alright, shot right by the corner of the target, blew out the uh, Spall Guarding. Let's try another shot, I'll try to get it on the center. Alright, we got that one right at the top of the plate, right there. We've got some spalling trying to come through on the sides. Looks like we might have had just a little bit of penetration. And we've got some coming out the top. Let's try to put another round on the plate. Alright, same thing. We've got some uh, spall coming through the top, some out the side, uh, very tiny little entrance holes there. I don't know, looks like we might have had a couple small pieces actually escape. Let's uh, try again with another shot. Alright, that one was right beside the first one there. Same sort of deal. We've actually got some penetration of the spalling. Uh, you can actually see some pretty decent cuts on the sides here now, where it's actually escaping out. So, uh, looks like our our first test needs a little bit more work. Um, I think the idea is going to be sound once I get it resolved. But for right now, hmm, looks like I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board and give this dude another whirl. Okay, I pulled the tape off <coughs> the back of the spa garden that I had holding on there. As you can see, we've got some uh, lead residue that's uh, escaped out the edge. Um, some discoloration, of course, here's where it blew out the side of the spa guarding on that first shot that was right on the corner. Um, I don't know if you can see it real well, but you can actually see some of the the spalling inside the, the, the plate has managed to contain and not let out. Of course you can see the discoloration on the tape there at the edges and stuff. Um, and we'll pull the rest of the tape off, take the plate out um, and see what kind of what we've got inside trapped in between the plate and the cover. So let's see what that takes. Take a look at that and see what that looks like. Alright, there we've got the plate. You can see where the hits are on the plate. Here's the two hits side by side. Of course you can see the spalling where it propagates out from the from where it strikes the plate out to the edges radially, pretty well even across the plate. Um, here's the inside of the spall guard. You can see some of the spalling that we did manage to catch that hasn't made it all the way through. Um, here's of course you can see where that one hit strike was on the corner of the plate and blowing the corner out of it. Um, so it looks like it helps. Um, I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more work on the uh, on it dimensionally. Uh, this was just a first guess. Didn't have a clue where to start so I had to start somewhere and this was it. Um, just going to have to uh, maybe do, go back to the drawing board for a little bit more experimentation and uh, see where that takes us.